Hello there everybody, I am Swifty and this is of course Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode we made it here to Ecotique City and since then I've just been minding my own business. I've been doing a bit of off screen training, got Bright Side up to level 22, Swifty up to level 22, and I think Challenge was already on 21 and I got Kirito up to level 21. Sheffield and Andy Roo are both on level 20. But I was just minding my own business. I was doing a bit of training. Um, you know, as you do. And I was doing it on this route, Route 38. And I stepped into the grass, and the first Pokemon I encountered, some some kind of special music started playing, and it really confused me because I was like, what's going on? What's going on? And then this Entei appeared. And I'm like, what? An Entei? And I thought, oh well, I know these legendary beasts just roam around and I got very lucky and I weren't recording because it was off-screen training and I didn't bother recording because I thought oh well I'm not gonna catch it so I threw a pokeball at it well I threw a premiere ball to be precise um, and then um, something very strange happened because I kinda ended up catching an Entei what I didn't even mean to do this it just sort of happened I, I don't know what, it just appeared and I thought, oh, I'll throw a ball at it. I won't turn on my recording because if I do it, it will just be a waste of time and I won't catch it. But I caught an Entei. What is this? Look at that. It's epic. Look at that attack. Oh my. You can easily replace Vulpix for me if you want. Oh, that Entei. Wow, I can't believe I found that. That is... That is unbelievable, guys. I, I'm genuinely surprised. So that's our first legendary Pokemon cut. So in this episode, we're going to be taking on the gym. And Vulpix, bright side, you will not be used in this gym. I'm primarily going to be using Andy Roo and maybe even Kirito if it comes to that. So I'm just going to put you two right up top because that's the smart thing to do. I also got strength off a guy to the root to the right. I'll, sh I'll just... Um, I'll do that later. I'll tell you where that is later. But let's get on with this gym. Ecotique gym. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Can you inflict any damage on my Pokemon? I actually can. I can do quite an onslaught of damage, actually. Medium Georgina. No, not, you're not quite a high Georgina. You know, are you a small Georgina? You are just a medium Georgina. I'm not faster. Oh my, you're gonna curse me? Ooh. That's not nice at all because it's going to do some damage. I, I didn't pick up any items, did I, really? Well, we'll pick up some items before we take on a gym leader, I suppose. We can always run back and forth in this place. It is super effective. Fainted 325. That's enough to level me up. Really, Ante. Oh no, that curse. That curse, guys. I'm going to send out another Ghastly. I will switch Pokemon. I'm going to go into Sheffa because Sheffa's quite low down on the levels, you know? She's not... She's our lowest level Pokemon right at the moment, I believe. So let's get her some experience, because she's evolving soon at level 22. And that would be very nice. And you have Bite, which is great against ghosts. Um, want it KO when you're faster than them, so you're probably ideal for this fight. Um, right now, I've got so many Pokemon who are just brilliant against ghosts. I've got you, Sheffa. I've got... Um, Andy Roo, who is just a beast because ghost type moves don't affect you and you've got extra sensory, that's amazing. Critical hit, wow Sheffield, you're really pulling through. And we've got Kirito who has confusion, which is awesome. And you're at level 21 now, Sheffield. Well done. Look at your stats, they are epic. And you're gonna send out another ghastly how original. So original, aren't you? I want to get Sheffa up to level 22 in this episode because I want her to evolve because when she evolves, she is beautiful. She is one beautiful little cobra, Some beautiful little snake. And another ghastly. Wow, I did not see that coming. No, I didn't. I, I honestly thought he was going to send out a mill tank. But guys, I cannot believe my luck with that Entei. I've never, I've never come across a wandering Pokemon and I've never caught it in just an ordinary Pokeball or a Premier Ball, because I think they have the same catch rate. But that is just unbelievable. Oh, oh my, hello, Togepi. And he was evolving. Wow, this is just an epic episode so far. Wow, well, you're gonna evolve. Um. Wow, I've got so much to talk about in this episode. Togepi evolved into a, into a, 
into a toga tech. Toga tick, actually. That's amazing. Well done, Togepi. Wow, what's. Wow, look at you! Oh no, the lights have gone off. Um, can't really remember this place. Um, let's have a look at you, shall we? Sorry. I guess you don't need that soup bell anymore. Wow, look at you. What is your highest? Your special defense and your special attack? That's. That's good. You're quite a slow Pokemon. So, now that you've evolved. No, not summary. Now that you've evolved, let's switch you up for Sheffa. And get Sheffa some experience. Because, wow, this is such a good episode. Um, I do need to find a shiny stone to evolve my Togetic into a Toga Kiss, who is just an epic Pokemon. Oh, my Haunter. You're gonna haunt my dreams. Love Haunter. I love the Ghastly Evolution line. It's my favorite. One of my favorite Pokemon lines. I've always loved Gengar. It's always been my favorite Pokemon. You're gonna curse me. Oh, no. You're faster than me. That's not good. But this will bite. will take you out, definitely. Um, but yeah, I need to find a shiny stone, and you can find shiny stones, I believe, in the bug catching contest or the Pokeathlon Dome, but I'm going to do that off screen and get one in my own time because they are a pain, especially the Pokeathlon Dome, it's just a pain in those mini games. Um, you know what, I'll keep battling because you're so close to leveling up now, Swift Sheffer. It'd be a shame not to. Mean luck! Oh no, no, I definitely can't escape, that's not good. Now I've got a curse on me and I can't escape and it's just a pain. Hopefully I'll get a critical hit or I'll just kill it in one hit. Ooh, so close. And that curse. That curse, guys. It's really painful. Confuse Ray! Oh no! Haunter! Chill your beans, you know. Come on, Chef, a power through. You've gotta do this to prove you can level up. Yes! Chef, a pull through! We're gonna get two evolutions. So far, we're only seven, well, I say we're only seven minutes in, that's quite a bit, but we're only seven minutes into this episode. We've got Entei, we've got Togetic, and we've got an Arbok. Could this be any more of an epic episode? I believe not, because Sheffa is evolving now. Wow, everybody's just rocking up on the scene. Look at you, Sheffa. You're a new Pokemon. Totally awesome. Wow! Oh, you look so cool. You're gonna be such an amazing Pokemon now. Oh, Sheffa. Do you want to learn any moves? Crunch! Yes, please! I want to get... I mean, look at this. It's only got 15, but it does 80 and you do 60, so for that 20 more damage, that's definitely good. Um, you need to learn, like, Ice Fang or something, that'd be amazing. No, you don't learn that, because that's silly. Shelly. You're not gonna give me a hint? Okay, so go up one more, and then just run across. Okay, so let's put... Now that we've done that, let's switch Kirito up front. Andy Ryu's probably not gonna need a lot of training. Oh my, what are you doing? You're gonna walk to me, so I'm gonna go down, across, across, up, across, up. If that made any sense to you guys. This gym, guys, I love this gym, it's the best. No one ever watched. You've only got one Pokemon. Kirito will easily dispose of you right about now. It's a Haunter. Oh no. Oh no. Luckily, I have. Can't you suck a punch? Oh. Is Ghost super effective against Psych? Oh, Suck Punch is dark, isn't it? That's not good for Kirito, but you need the experience because you're a bit. You're a bit lacking, if I'm honest, Kirito. Suck a punch. Um, but yeah, you've only got one Pokemon, so it's not too hard. I mean, you're dead now, Haunter. I should get a ton of experience from that. 594, beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. Wins and losses, I experience both. Well, everybody does. Okay, so let's find our way. Go here, 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 up one, cross one, and then up. Good. So let me use one of my few super potions. On Kirito, whoa, whoa, because you need it in all honesty. Okay, so you, okay, I need to fight you. Okay, so I've got to go down where Slowpoke is and then across and up. Okay, that's fine for my next challenge. Hitch Gym, it's better when you leave and you come back because all the lights come back on for some weird reason. It's all good, but. Kirito should level up after this fight, which is nice. Nightshade. That's a dark ghost move, isn't it? 
It's a ghost move. Yep. Whew, that's good. Because, Kirito, you're pretty bad in this gym, <laughs> if we're honest. But you're doing pretty well. You're actually demolishing everything in sight. One more Pokemon. It's a haunt. You know what? I'm going to switch Pokemon. I'm going to get Sheffa to take you on. Because Andy Rue is just going to take on the gym leader. Solo, I believe. Got a Haunter. It's going to haunt my dreams. Level 20. Let's test that. Oh, look at you, Sheffa. You look amazing. Let's test out our new Crunch. You're fast as well. That's brilliant. Oh, my. Look at that. Dead damage. Whew. You're dead. I'm sorry. For 540 experience. I love you. And you got another Ghastly. So I'm going to switch back into Kirito. Because of stuff. <clears throat> Go on, Kirito. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Ghastly. Hello. Level 20 Ghastly. Wow, that's quite deadly. Nightshade. Good night. Ghastly. Now, I know that the gym leader has a lot Pokemon who use like hypnosis and stuff so I'm gonna have to get some awakenings before I take him on but I think I should be pretty much set defense plus two you're a very defensive Pokemon Kirito I, 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 I lost yes you did you lost indeed okay so this is the one's the hardest one across up across and then I need to go across one more I believe but it doesn't even matter because the gym leader, so let's just fall off the edge because that's safe. And let's leave because I want to get some items before we take on the gym leader. Okay, so where's the shop in this place? I know it's, it's got to be somewhere. This is the one place where I do not know where the shop is. There you are. Just riding around on my bicycle. I want to get some awakening and I want to get some super potions because that would be... Why, you know what, let's sell some stuff. I'm sure I've got loads of stuff that I don't need. Um, nothing here, actually. Nothing, 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 nothing. No, I can sell this X attack. Don't need X attacks, don't use X items, really. So let's just sell that, because I wanted to sell some stuff. And let's buy some super potions. How many can I get? 19, don't want 19. Just give me 9, because I don't have a lot of money. Thank you. And I want to buy some Awakenings as well, actually. When you're there. Give me five of these, because I don't need a lot. But five should be more than enough for the rest of the game. I'll never need to buy Pokeballs again, because if every Legendary is as easy to catch as Entei, then I will only need two more Pokeballs. <laughs> only three, actually, if I'm going after Hoot Hoot as well. Not Hoot Hoot! What kind of a Legendary is Hoot Hoot? If I go after um, ho -Oh, but yeah, like I said, all the lights come back on after you defeat the gym leader. Not the gym leader, the po the person. And here is Mortimer, also known as Morty. And let's... I forgot to heal up, didn't I? That's, that was stupid of me. Why didn't I do that? Oh well, I'm probably set anyway. Let me just save my... No, I won't save my game. I'll just take on Morty. So guys, let's go. What do you think about this fight, Togetek? A new Pokemon, you're happy. You're very eager. So you're eager to begin. Let's go. It's good for you to have come here in equity. Pokemon have long been revered. It's said that a rainbow hued Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. I see a shadow of the person who will make the Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. You're going to help me reach that level. Good luck, dude! Versus Morty. I'm gonna call you Mortimer because that doesn't sound as threatening as Morty. You've got four Pokemon. You've got to start off with that ghastly. It's level 21, matching my Andy Roo. I know I'm slower than you, but this extra sensory should hopefully just knock you out in one hit. I cannot wait to evolve you into a Toga Kiss because then you would just be an absolute Pokemon to be destroyed with and a critical hit to start off this fight. Can't get much better than that. God, Andy Roo, you're such a pro. I'm gonna keep you out for this Haunter because it should be a two-hit KO. Maybe even a one-hit KO if I get another critical hit, but Hypnosis missed. I'm glad. I wish I had, like, a berry that just cured Hypnosis. Not Hypnosis, cured sleep. Because that would have just been perfect. Okay, you're not quite dead yet. Come on, miss with Hypnosis. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. So, that's it's not too bad. I can live with that. 
Hopefully I'll just power out and wake up. They're gonna dream eat me. Oh no. I should have used an awakening. That would have been smart. Okay, how much damage does that do? Whoa, whoa, calm. Calm. Chill your beans. Oh, but I woke up. That is brilliant. Well done. This should kill it, I believe. Yes. A critical hit. Brilliant. Andy Roo, you are the boss of this gym. Who's he gonna send out the next day? His Gengar. I will switch Pokemon. Let's send... Um... Who should I send out? Sheffa or Kirito? I'll send... Kirito? I'll send Kirito out so I can heal Andy Roo. Um, because that's not the smartest move to do, but it's the one I'm gonna use because I'm not worried about this gym, even though it is a level 25. I'm gonna use my super potion on you, Andy Roo. Nicely done. Fully healed. And you're gonna use Shadow Ball. You see, that will not affect Andy Roo, which is good. That, that does kill me. Oh no, I'm sorry, Kirito. It was a sacrifice made entirely rightly, I suppose, maybe. We'll see. So let's use Extra Sensory Sucker Punch. Oh no, you see, that's all you can do to me, and it only does 15 damage. I suppose, can you put me to sleep? I believe you can, but you're not going to. And that does not quite half. So you know what? I want to confuse you, if I'm honest. I don't care if I can't escape. I just want to get you... Well, if you've got Mean Luck, Shadow Ball, and the Sucker Punch. Damn, I'm missing. What's your other move? Hypnosis! Brilliant. At least I know you can't Dream Eat me. Which is nice to know, I suppose. But I've fallen asleep, which is not good. I wish he was confused, though. Come on, you got to power through this again. you got to wake up. Oh yeah, you can't do a thing to me if I'm asleep. That's brilliant because Sucker Punch only works if you are if I'm using an attacking move. Oh, that's brilliant. I love how you cannot hit me. Haha! <laughs> you see, get a Togepi for this gym. It's just an absolute dial. Wake up, you sweet kiss, miss. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna use sweet kiss again. You're gonna put me back to sleep. Doesn't even bother me. You can drag this out as long as you want, Gengar. You're gonna die. You know what, I think I might just wake up on the next turn and just use extra sensory because I'm not going to bother with this sweet kiss. I just want to take this Gengar out. Wake up, use extra sensory. All I'm worried about is he's going to use a potion now. And that's not smart. Unless I got a critical hit, but I didn't. Oh, you've got a citrus berry or something. That's brilliant because that'll mean I can just take you out easily in this turn. But you put me back to sleep, which I don't know why you would put me back to sleep. Just take the hits like a man. You are a male, after all. And just use Sucker Punch on me. That would be the smart thing to do. See, Shadow Ball? Don't affect me. Oh, I love you, Andy Wu. Really do love you. You're an amazing Pokemon. Shadow Ball doesn't work. Wake up, extra sensory. Bam, you're dead, Gengar. That was easy. As can be. Ha. Huh. So easy. Gengar's dead. 1,017 experience points. Could not complain at that. Wow. I'm going to send in another Haunter. I'm going to keep battling away. Because that is what I like to do. It's a level 23 Haunter. And it's not over yet. I still believe we can do it. If your Gengar cannot do it, then this Haunter definitely can't. I'll tell you that for nothing. Come on, get a critical hit just to show him what is what, Andy Roo. Come on, destroy this, this haunter. Ooh, ah, oh, so close. We've got more discipline than anyone else. That doesn't really matter. You're going to use a hyper potion. It's not going to matter. Not going to matter at all because I'm just going to use the same move and you're going to go back down to that amount of HP. And it's going to be all good. Ooh. Wish I got a critical hit there, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use Curse. You're gonna kill yourself and make me win the battle to do nothing to me. That's fine. I like that. That was a stupid move anyway. <laughs> 23 levels after. Wow, I'm so amazing. Defeated Morty. How is this possible? Because I'm. I brought a normal type to your gym. I don't think our potentials are so different, but you seem to have something more than that. So be it, this badge is yours. Got the fog badge! Yay! Fog badge! Yeah! 
by having the Fog Badge Pokemon up to level 50, including traded Pokemon, will obey you. Also, Pokemon will be able to use Surf. Here's another thing, I want you to have this to TM30, it's Shadow Ball. I hope it is, because that's a good move. Yes! Shadow Ball. Oh, I want to teach that to someone right now. I want to take it. I want to take it. I want to teach it to... I don't know. Who has high special attack? Let's see who can learn it first, actually. Uh, you can, Andy Wu. Oh, you can learn it as well, Kirito. That'd be good. Who's got the higher special attack, though? I think Andy Wu could use it more. Ah, let's let's give it to Andy Wu. Because I don't think... I think Kirito's good enough as he is. Which move should be forgotten? Let's forget Sweet Kiss, because I'm never going to use that. It's got rubbish accuracy, as I found out in that fight. And this has 80 damage, which is the same as that. And it's just epic. It's got 100 accuracy, same as that. So it's just the sha it's just the um, ghost version of extra sensory, which is nice as anything. Shadow Ball is learned. I also learned. Sh I also got strength. I'll show you where I got that in the next episode, maybe. And I want to teach that to somebody. Yes, I would like to teach that. I think I'll teach that to Chandler. Well, he's my kind of HM slave so far. What moves do you have? Which move should be forgotten? Now, your attack is the lowered stat, but it's still pretty high. Ah. Uh, so, let's get rid of maybe Payback, because I didn't really use that in this. Uh, you know what? I'll get rid of Rock Tomb, because I think Payback could be useless, useless, useful later on. So let's get rid of Rock Tomb, because I'm never going to use that, because it's got rubbish accuracy. I'm sorry you're becoming my HM slave, Chandler. But I think strength would really suit you. Learn strength. Okay, guys, so that's it for this gym. It was easy as can be. Let's just fall and just skip everything and leave. I haven't been talking to the guy at the entrance for the past two gyms, I'm sorry. So, guys, in this episode, we absolutely destroyed that gym. In the next episode, we'll continue maybe on to Route 38 over there or 39 over there. I believe that's 39 over there. So, guys, um, what did you think about this episode? Toga Tick, Andy Roo. Oh, you're happy. Andy Roo is jumping for joy. I hope all of you viewers are jumping for joy as well at a new Swifty episode. So, guys, until next time, goodbye.